They've been making landing gear on the factory floor at Erudev Tech since the 1940s. The company's done passenger planes, fighter jets, even firefighting airplanes. But in eight decades of history, Erudev Tech has one unique claim to fame. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. When the lunar excursion module touched down on the moon, we copy you down, Eagle. It was on landing gear made in Canada. It's been the company's calling card ever since. Today, looking back, it's quite an accomplishment. How often do you use it? Well, every time we have an opportunity. Marketing-wise, it's, it's a great tool. It was often called the bug. The design of the lunar lander wasn't about looks. It was about what was needed for the job. The early sketches of the module were done by a Canadian working at NASA, Owen Maynard. But the construction and much of the design was contracted out to a New York company, Grumman Aircraft. This is a full-scale mock-up of the lunar excursion module. Grumman's Tom Kelly is usually called the father of the land. The vehicle, as you can see, is a two-stage spacecraft. The upper stage we call the ascent stage. The lower stage is called the descent stage and is primarily used during the lunar landing. The lander was taken to space in the service module and then connected to the command module for the trip to the moon. Once it was out, the legs were deployed. In the actual case, this pin release is performed by a, an explosive device. Now, to build those legs, Grumman contracted the work out to another American company. But there was a problem. The, the company that they hired to, to do those uh, legs uh, couldn't do it. Well, Eru Incorporated, as it was called at the time, had done projects for Grumman before. When the call came, the Canadian company jumped in. We wanted to be part of the history. There's a part of one of those legs in the archives of the Canadian Aviation and Space Museum in Ottawa. It's made of an aluminum alloy. Eru milled it out of a solid block. Gaston Bernier was an inspector with the company. It was his job to make sure it met the exact specifications. Ça va même pas, ça pour la lune. Bernier says he and most of the employees didn't even know the parts were for the moon. And if they'd been told, he says they wouldn't have believed it. Eru made 60 legs, enough for 15 landers. The contract was worth, at the time, $340,000, about $2 million today. The company did keep one part of a leg, but right now they've lent it out and it's on display at a museum in Montreal. That's put a bit of a damper on sales pitches. You normally travel with that leg? Absolutely, we do, yeah, sometimes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's not a bad uh, conversation starter. People laugh a little bit, but still, that's true. That's, that's the proof there. In the end, six Apollo missions set down on the moon. This is the last one. In each case, the landing gear was left behind. That means any time a Canadian looks up at the moon, there's an important part of Canadian history staring back. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Longueuil, Quebec.